in life, at times we're in a situation that seems like we're between the devil and the deep blue sea. You may be in a difficult situation where there are two equally unpleasant choices. If you're in such a situation, all you need to do is cry to God as the Israelites did, and He will answer you. He will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. Isaiah 43 verse 19, I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Making a way in the toughest of situations is one of God's specialties. You can trust in Him to help you out of a difficult situation. He is the all-wise and the all-knowing God. He will guide you to do the right thing in a bad situation. Barrenness is not bigger than God to fix. There are numerous testimonies of God breaking the yoke of barrenness. In times past, we've seen the power of God making the barren fruitful, as seen in the life of Sarah, Rebecca, Hannah, Elizabeth, etc. Sarah was 90 years old when she had her son Isaac. Hannah was called barren. Paniah, her rival, would torment and humiliate her because she was childless. That went on year after year, making Hannah worried. Her childlessness was becoming embarrassing, but she acknowledged that God is almighty and can fix any problem. That made her cry to God in prayers to fix her situation. God answered her by giving her Samuel and five other children, three sons and two daughters. The word of the Lord to the barren in Isaiah 54 verse 1 is, Sing, O barren, you who have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. You have not labored with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. There are times when the economy is down, causing financial hardship. Things are becoming tough. Businesses are running down. Companies closing down and things are not working well. During such periods, everybody's complaining. But as a child of God, you should know that you can be exempted from that problem of financial hardship. Job 22 verse 29 says, When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting. Financial hardship is not too big for God to fix. He can make you reap in a land of famine as in the case of Isaac. He can make you reap in a land of famine as in the case of Isaac. On the days of Isaac, there was a famine in the land. God gave him instructions that made him prosperous in that land despite the hardships of the land. Genesis 26 verse 12, Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. God is powerful enough to make you prosperous, regardless of the economic situation. Probably it's your business that's having issues or you're not making sales as you used to. You can call on God and be assured that He will fix it. Do you have a broken marriage? Is your home troubled? That's also not a problem too hard for God to fix. God can fix whatever is broken in your home or marriage and make it whole again. He can bring a dead marriage back to life. He can restore love to your marriage. He can make peace reign in your home. Marriage is an institution established by God. He plans that companionship, fellowship, love, peace and harmony should be found in a marriage. When the good relationship between husband and wife is corrupted and the marriage is no longer what God intended it to be, in such a situation, it's only the originator that can fix it. God can restore broken marriages into His original plans. He can change the hearts of wayward children and make them godly. He can restore peace to a troubled home and joy to a home where there's mourning. God can bring newness and restoration to your home. He can make your home heaven on earth. It's never God's desire for you to be sick or be in pain. 3 John 1 verse 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. God is very much interested in you having good health. 
During Jesus' ministry on earth, we have several accounts of him healing people who are afflicted with all manner of sickness and disease. He demonstrated the power of God to heal. He cleansed the lepers, opened the blind's eye, brought the dead back to life, etc. When Jesus sees a person in pain or sick, he is always moved with compassion to heal them. There is no record of a sick person being brought to Jesus that did not get healing. That is to prove that God can heal all links of sickness, be it cancer, HIV and AIDS, coronavirus, diabetes, etc. The power of God that brought healing to men in the days of old is still very much potent to heal you today if you're sick. As a child of God, you should not be subjected to pain. You can call to God today for healing and you will be healed. He is the balm of Gilead that can heal any kind of disease. It's not God's will for you to live your life depending on drugs. He can make you whole and perfect your health. Having divine health is possible. Living a life free from the pain of any form can be your reality. When you're faced with a problem that seems insurmountable, it's only God you can run to. In the face of life's struggles and challenges, having done all that we know to do to solve the problem, but not getting the results you desire, especially if you've been battling with such a problem for a very long time, it's easy to think nothing can be done to return the situation around, or maybe these problems are meant to be in your life. But I tell you that it's not God's plan that problems should come and dwell in your life. They should be temporary and not permanent. Psalms 34 verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. God has promised you deliverance from every form of affliction. He loves you too much to see you in pain or watch you suffer. He's ever ready and willing to help you. Do not believe the lie of the devil that some problems are beyond God's power to solve. That's not true. He is the sovereign Lord. He made the heavens and the earth by his great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for him. In conclusion, it's very important to know that focus magnifies things. The more you focus on your problems, the bigger it seems in your eyes. When you have a problem, Shift your focus from the problem to God. Meditate on His love for you and His mighty power to save. Think about how God fixed the life of people faced with similar problems as you in the past. If He's done it before, He can surely do it again. When your focus is on God, it becomes easy for you to believe that nothing is beyond Him. Indeed, there's no problem God cannot fix if we'll cry and call to Him in prayers, with faith in our hearts, believing He is powerful.